Hey everybody, Keith K here with another Green Hill tutorial from the jungles of South America, lost in the jungle somewhere. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Mud Forge. Now, the Mud Forge, as the name implies, is built out of mud. And um, if you aren't sure how to make mud, please see my other tutorial on the Mud Mixer, which I'll link here. The Mud Forge you're actually going to find under fire, uh, right here. So you'll need five long sticks and six mud bricks. Um, and again, I'll show you how to make mud bricks in a different tutorial. Once you've built it, like anything else, you place it and then start filling it up. Um, we're not going to use it, so let's get rid of it. Um, there are two pieces to the mud forge. There's the fuel here in the center, and then there's um, what it is you're forging. And it's a two-step process to make anything um, in terms of metal uh, weapons or armor. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've got your fuel filled up, and that is going to be um, best served with charcoal. So you just keep putting charcoal in here until it's full. All right, so now it's full. And again, it's a multi-step process, so we will need lots of charcoal. And um, you can see uh, my other tutorial on how to use the charcoal furnace. Uh, but you can see that this makes 15 uh, charcoal when you uh, fill that up and burn, burn your sticks off. Again, uh, see my other tutorial for that. Um, but once you've got your charcoal loaded in here, then you have to decide what you're going to do. Now you can um, you can melt down iron ore, which you can find in various caves, and um, you know you just need uh, to have built a stone pickaxe of some sort. Go into the cave, and you'll find um, iron ore. Um, in different seams like you can see up in the right here once you find the seam of iron um, you just are going to mine it out and just be careful because every cave typically has uh, a scorpion or some other nasty thing like a, um, a spider in it so you can either do iron ore and that's probably where you'll start and you can see you just place it in here uh, you can also do an empty, empty can sorry you'll find these um, in some of the uh, encampments around um, the drug lab, the airport, and so forth. But let's, we'll start with just iron ore. And um, once you've got that ready to go, uh, just like any fire, you're gonna come here, use your hand drill or other fire starter. Right, and then you're just going to come up here, press E to ignite, and this will burn down, and this will melt. It takes some time. Uh, while that's going, though, I'm going to show you how you build a mold once you have some iron ore. So, uh, this, sorry, melted iron ore. The iron ore here will melt down into this little lump, which are then stackable. Um, and, and you want to keep an eye on your fire. This should melt before this runs out, but if we put this can in, we will need to refuel it. Um, so what you'll need, let's, um, there are a couple different things that you can craft with iron. So the first one we'll look at is um, plating for armor. So let's go ahead and craft this empty mold. And uh, we need, I believe, just a stick. Yeah. And then a piece of iron, which seems a little strange. You think you might make the mold, but this is just how it works. So you take a piece of the melted iron ore, put that on there, and you can see this is an armor mold. So what'll happen is you'll, all three of these will combine to be an armor mold. You'll put this in here and it'll melt down and give you one piece of metal that you can use to build an arm, uh, you know, a uh, leg or arm armor with. Um, I prefer not to use my iron ore for that, but you can see how that works. So I'm gonna just actually put this back. I'll show you um, one other thing we can make. I always have a, um, an extra arrow 
in order to make an arrow mold. And you can see here I've got five metal arrows already, but we'll go ahead and make another one. So again, we've got the mold, the iron, melted iron ore, and the arrow. When we craft this, we do get our arrow back. So with just this one arrow, I can use this to keep making arrow molds over and over again. Uh, the other thing that's kind of handy to make is a uh, iron spear. Uh, I've got an iron metal spear here. Uh, you can also make an axe. So you just need um, a an axe or a knife. So I think I might be able to use the obsidian. Let's take a look here. Sometimes you can't... Um, oops. So here's our empty mold. Let's craft this. So we need to have our melted iron ore. And I think this will work. It might not. No, we're going to need a regular blade. So let's go ahead and do that first. Um, and I'm getting tired, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. I think we need two... And we'll go ahead and craft. Stone blade. Um, let's see here. So we've got our stone blade, our empty mold, and our melted iron ore. And this will give us a blade mold. All right. So now we've got a blade mold, and once you've got that blade mold, um, we'll come back and I'll show you how to use, uh, how to fire these, and essentially you'll end up with a piece of metal um, blade that you can use to craft. Uh, actually, let's go to the notebook. Uh, where do we have it? Here we are. Oh, sorry. Yep, metal arrowhead cast to build your metal arrow. And metal spear is just a long stick, metal blade cast and a rope. So just like a um, regular spear, but with a metal blade cast instead. So we'll come back um, once uh, this finishes firing and we'll take a look at how we fire these molds and then we'll wrap it up. All right, we're back and the um, piece of iron, melted iron ore was finished. So we're gonna go ahead and let's put the blade mold in. But you can put either one of these molds or any of the other molds that you make. And you just wanna hover it until it gets green. And you can see it'll start to basically melt that. Um, I'll put some charcoal in here and then we will come back in the morning uh, I'm just going to fill it up. It's probably more than I need, but... And then we'll take a look at how this is when it, it's finished. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, and uh, we're back. It's pretty early in uh, the morning hours, but um, the blade mold baked is ready. So we can go ahead and grab that. Uh, we've still got a little bit of fuel here, so I'm going to go ahead, and you can see the difference. This has been fired. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire this arrow mold as well. And I'll add a little more charcoal. Um, and I'm not going to make everything you can make with this, um, but you can see all the instructions here. If you back up a little bit, there we go. It tells you the, the, different, the three different things you can make. We've looked at these two. The last one uh, is the arrowhead and sorry the axe head um, and all you need is a um, regular axe if you make the stone axe with a stick and a stone um, you can craft that into the mold for the metal axe which gives you the metal axe cast so you then are going to harvest this and you'll basically break it open and here you go, you have your metal lead cast uh, ready to go. 
and then you would just craft that like you would anything. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you uh, enjoyed this, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you back here soon. Thanks, everybody.